Hi, greetings, Phil Hoobians. Hoobie and Queen here. How about a good week so far? Well, it's time to take a look at the final episode of the 13th Doctor, The Power of the Doctor. The 13th Doctor and companions rescue a bullet train in space from a Cyber Master attack, but Dan is nearly killed during the escapade. Having developed a sense of his mortality, Dan parts ways with Dan parts with the Doctor to get back to living his life. A renegade Dalek contacts the Doctor, offering information about a Dalek plot to destroy humanity. The Doctor's former companions take a Jovanka and Ace, investigate the, the abduction of a dozen of the world's leading seismologists, and the addition of Gregory Rasputin's face to 15 famous paintings. Kate Stewart invites the Doctor to Unit's headquarters to meet Tegan and Ace and discuss their findings. The Doctor clarifies that the new face in the painting is actually that of the Master, when she goes to confront at a seismology conference in Naples. The Doctor learns the Master and his Cyber Masters have allied with the Daleks and humanity in the present by triggering eruptions, eruptions from every volcano on Earth simultaneously. The Doctor meets the renegade Dalek, discovering the other Daleks allowed him to contact her in order to capture her, which she do after killing the traitor. Yuna arrests the Master, who reveals he sent a miniaturized version of a shot to Tegan, who assumed it was a warning from the Doctor. This enlarges an access of portal bringing a shot and a large number of Cybermen into Unit HQ, freeing the Master. The Daleks take the Doctor to the Master in 1916 Russia, who uses Gallifrey technology and enslaved energy being called the... called the... Kronorex, or however that's pronounced, to impose the first force regeneration into him. In her mind, the Doctor counters manifestations of her 1st, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th incarnations, who inform where it may be possible to undo the Force Regeneration with outside help. An AI, an AI program the Doctor created, using images of the 5th, 7th, and fug Fugitive and 13th Doctors, leads Ace to meet her former companion, to Ace meet with former companion Grandma Brian and destroy the Dalek Volcano Machine. Jacob to destroy the Cyberman Converter and Cybermasters in Unit HQ as they are about to convert Kate, and he has a previous ally vendor to capture the Master and make him undo the Doctor's transformation. Defeated, the Doctor mortally wounds the Doctor with a Conorx's energy beam, triggering the regeneration process. The Doctor takes Yaz home before departing alone. Yaz attends a support group of former companions, including Graham, Dan, Kate, Ace, Tegan, Ian Chesterton, Joe Jones, and Melanie Bush. The Doctor travels to a cliff where she regenerates into the 14th Doctor, who is alarmed to discover he has become physically identical, physically identical to his 10th incarnation. Bum, bum, bum. So let's take a look at this episode. So let's take a look at the production of this episode, beginning with the development. The Power of the Doctor was written by showrunner and executive producer Chris Chimmel and directed by Jamie Magnus Stone. After the first two specials were produced as part of the eight episodes ordered for the 13th series, a third feature-length special was later ordered to coincide with the centenary of the BBC and serve as Whitaker's Regeneration episode. The BBC described the film episode as an epic blockbuster special. Casting and details of the centenary special, that yet revealing the title or air date, were released after a Legend of the Sea Devils concluded. The title of the special was announced on September 14th, 2022. And now on to the casting. Jodie Whittaker stars as the 13th Doctor in a regular final episode, alongside Amanda Gill as Yasmin Khan and John Bishop as Dan Lewis. The BBC announced Whittaker and Chimmel's departures from the series in July 2021. Gill confirmed that the special will be her final appearance in the series on May 3rd, 2022. A trailer for the special was released in April 2022, and confirmed the return of Jacob Anderson as Vinder and Gemma Redgrave as Kate Stewart, both of whom last appeared in the 13th series. The Master, played by Sasha Dumont, and Ashad, played by Patrick O'Kane, who both appeared in the 12th series, also return. The special also sees the return of former companions Jacob Jovanka, Ace, and Grandma O'Brien, played by Jenny Fielding, Sophie Aldred, and Bradley Walsh, respectively. The Daleks and the Cybermen also appear. In Kenya Rolls, the fourth, first, the 1st, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, and Fugitive Doctors appear. The 1st Doctor is played, by Bradley, is played by David Bradley, who previously portrayed the character in the episodes The Doctor Falls and Twice Upon a Time, 
as well as portraying the original first Doctor actor William Hartnell in the biodrama An, An Adventure in Space and Time. Where those were played by their respective original actors, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, Paul McGann, and Joe Martin. According to Chibnall, fourth Doctor actor Tom Baker was invited to appear in the episode, but declined. David Tennant, who previously portrayed the 10th Doctor, makes a brief appearance as the 14th Doctor. Former companions Ian Chesterton, Joe Jones, and Melanie Bush, portrayed by William Russell, Katie Manning, and Bonnie Langford, respectively, also appear in brief cameos. With this appearance, Russell, who last appeared as Ian in The Planet of Decision, the final episode of The Chase in 1965, achieved the Guinness World Record for the longest gap between TV appearances. And finally, on to the filming. The Power of the Doctor was filmed throughout September 2021, directed by Jamie Magnus Stone, concluding on October 13, 2021. Tennant's appearance was filmed around May 2022, directed by Rachel Talalay. Returning showrunner Russell T. Davies scripted the incoming Doctor's appearance with his first line, a reference to his first words as the, as, a reference to his first words as the Tenth Doctor being suggested by Tennant himself. The background of the regeneration scene, where the Doctor lands the TARDIS atop a cliff and looks out over the sea, was filmed by Drone at Dordal Door in Dorset. The Lilworth estate was not informed of the context of the scene when granted permission for the shoot, and after the episode's broadcast, expressed concern that it would encourage viewers to place themselves in danger. Among the musical cures, cues heard in the episode is Rasputin by German based pop and Euro disco group Boney M, originally released in 1978. The master is played by Dewan, portraying the Russian cleric, uses the song to accompany his impending transformation. Dewan noted that he was given only one or two takes for the set piece, and we didn't have that long to shoot it. Mm. So for us, the final episode of Jodie Whittaker's Time as a Doctor, I think it's just absolutely phenomenal, and I love seeing the return of old companions, and it was just mwah, so good, so good, so yeah. So overall, I give The Power of the Doctor five Sonic Screwdrivers out of five. Well, till next time, is I count down my top ten favorite 13 Doctor episodes, and then after that, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll do some live streams or whatever before we get to the 60th anniversary in November, so who knows, but yeah. So until then, be sure to... So yeah, so anyway, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it around, and don't forget to subscribe to the bell icon to be notified, to be notified about my upload videos. And if you want to help support the channel further, then be sure to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in the description below. Anyway, until next time, this is Sylvie and Queen saying, Oh my giddy and When I say run, run! I have a recipe of the neutron flow. Would you like a jelly baby? Fantastic! Alon Z! Geronimo! Bow ties are cool, fezzes are cool, and Stetsons are cool. The What the? What happened to my Sonic? Oh no, my Sonic screwdriver stopped working! Ah! Oh well. See you guys next time. Bye!